She doesn't text me on the weekend Don't wanna know what she's up to Calm down If I close my eyes and focus on my own mind for a while then Hi guys, I'm Song Kyung Long Guest Welcome to Asian at Home And today I'm going to show you how to make Dakkalguksu Chicken noodle soup Korean version So you all know what's a kalguksu. I actually shared the kalguksu, two kalguksu recipes actually. Go ahead and check it out. One is a vegetarian version and very, very simple. And another one is a nice and spicy, like thicker version of it. And today I'm making another one for, you know, the cool weather coming in. So I thought this would be a really great recipe to make, uh, kind of, you know, like a little elevate or give a little change on your regular chicken noodle soup. So this is totally Korean version of it. So let's get started. The first thing is the first that we need to make the broth for the chicken. I mean, chicken noodle soup, dak kalguksu. Dak means uh, chicken and kalguksu means uh, uh, handmade noodles or fresh noodles. So into a large pot, I'm going to add three slices of ginger. They are quite a thick slice because we need a lot of ginger flavor in the cold weather, you know. Chicken noodle soup is always good whenever you feel it. Like, oh, 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 I feel this. You know what I mean. Girls, you have done that before, even though you don't feel like it. <laughs> Ginger always really good to help you out, uh, feeling better, um, get well from the cold and all that stuff. So three nice and thick slices of ginger and three green onions and 12 cups of ooh, chicken stock. Chicken noodle soup, the chicken flavor is not only coming from the chicken broth. I actually deboned four chicken thighs, bone in, skin on. Bone in, skin on. Bone in, skin on chicken thigh is really amazing for this recipe. Debone the bones from the chicken thigh. Yes, do it at home because we're gonna use the bones and the meat both. So I'm gonna add the bones into the soup. And when you debone the chicken, don't worry about like you have to do perfect and all that because we are using the bones too. So actually some of the meat attached in the bones actually make the broth even more tastier. So okay, now we are going to bring this soup to boil with the cover on. When it starts boiling and just keep boiling hard over medium high heat for 30 minutes. Meanwhile, we are waiting for the soup to boil. I'm going to pan fry my chicken thigh on the dry pan about three to four minutes each side until they are nice and golden brown, crispy outside and super juicy inside. the chicken bones and other vegetables from the broth. You can tell the broth reduced a lot. Don't worry, we're gonna fix that too. Okay, after taking all the solid ingredients out, I'm just gonna go through the soup to get all the little scums from the chicken bones. So the soup is nice and clean. And look at how milky it is. It's kind of surprising, huh? Into the clean broth, we're gonna add three more cups of water because we've reduced a lot of moisture. Right now, I'm going to cover and bring back to boil over high heat before we add the onion, the potato, and the garlic, and to season the soup. Season the soup, either two tablespoons of Korean soup soy sauce or two tablespoons of fish sauce. This is totally up to you. Both are equally super duper delicious. I'm going with the fish sauce only reason because I don't want to change the color of the soup. And to your taste, add one eight teaspoon of salt. You might don't have to. It's really depending on your taste. Cover back on, bring back to boil. Oh, I forgot to put some chick salt and pepper on the chicken. Things happening. Some of you probably wondered when you're seeing my chicken searing scene. Like, right? oh, she didn't put any salt and pepper. Yeah, because I forgot. I'm 
I just shake off four portions of kalguksu, the Korean knife cut noodles. You can find these noodles already made super duper easy at your local Asian grocery store or Korean grocery store at the refrigerator section. So I just shake up really, really good in the strainer or the excess starch that we do not want in our soup because we're not cooking the noodles separately. So this is totally optional though. Um, if you want to make your soup really nice and thin, then go ahead and cook the noodles separately and then add into the soup. I think the beauty, one of the beauty of kalguksu is the soup is nice and thick and silky, which is the starch from the noodles makes that. And I'm just going to just cook noodles in the pot, which is the easiest way to do as well. Ooh, my soup is boiling again. Oh, nice. Really great time to add the noodles that we shake up really, really good or the excess starch that we do not want into soup. So you need four portions of the noodles. So after noodles goes in, you have to constantly stir with a chopstick, not with a spoon. So it's time to change your, your weapon. And we are going to cook after the noodles goes in about five to six minutes or until the noodles are fully cooked. Looking good, looking good. Let's serve up. Now top it up with the crispy chicken that we pan fried earlier. Nice and warm still. This is the game changer. Usually dakkalguksu is like boil the chicken, but why not just sear the chicken? A nice and crispy chicken and juicy, delicious. Mm. And some green onion right on top. Oh, yes. Yes, please! That's the finale. Black pepper. I think this is my proud chef dance of like, look what I did. <laughs> Another noodles! Another noodles! <laughs> noodle, noodle, noodle. With the crispy chicken. Mm-hmm. I did, I got a little bit of the, the broth or the soup mm -hmm. on my finger whenever I was moving stuff earlier. So I already got a little taste, so I already know how excited I am right now. Oh my gosh, you didn't even wait. You just like dug in. Ooh. Mm. Oh, potato is my favorite, believe it or not. In this soup. Mm. Are you good, good? Oh my gosh. This is delicious. Mm. I've had a lot of good chicken noodle soup in my life. This right here, winner. Wait, watch out. Your mom is watching. Okay, one over the top. So the only reason I pan fry the chicken like this is just because the Jacob really loves crispy chicken skin or seared meat and he never likes boiled chicken skin or a chicken meat. So whenever- You guys know what I'm- what All I'm, my, all my- <laughs> You guys know. Would all you rather my, have this instead of boiled chicken skin? People just deal with it. They don't like it. So a lot of um, my Asian recipes that call the chicken with the chicken skin boiling. If I can switch it to crispy chicken like this, I do for him. Thank you, babe. Even if it's a little extra work, I think it's worth it. Don't you think it tastes better too? Mm -hmm. So this is a really easy, simple dish when you're having like a group of people coming over. You know what I mean? Because this is a lot of food that can feed four to six Two people. people. I want to say up to four, eight people if you are actually making different food to like other dishes. If you like my takkalguksu recipe, please give this video a thumbs up if you deserve it. 
And look at this. The, the look of the noodle is like freaking Instagram worthy too. So don't forget to take a picture. Ching, 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 ching. And um, tag me, Sangyang Longas, on Instagram and Facebook so I can reach out on my story and I can give a little heart and I can comment on your post. Guys, don't forget to do that. And subscribe my channel if you haven't. You're totally missing out. If you don't subscribe and don't turn on the notification, you're totally missing out. <coughs> Slow black pepper. Got my throat. Mm. Oh, it's so delicious. Mm -hmm. And remember, you can always cook Asian food at your house, making it easy and fun. I'm Sanjang Longas, Jacob Longas, and this is Asian at Home. And we'll see you next time. Bye guys. Love you. Waiting, waiting, waiting. I call you mine. I know you feel the same as I do. No more playing, wishing, waiting hours. Taking, 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 baby. You were turning me up and you were turning me.